guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video i am going to be reviewing the brand new charlotte tilbury dream gasm eyeshadow quad so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this little quad seeing the tutorial of how i got this look and a few comparisons as well then just keep watching days ago, Charlotte Tilbury released a new eyeshadow quad that goes in the brand new Glowgasm collection that Charlotte just released a couple of weeks ago. I have to admit, I am a little confused as to why this was a separate release from the collection. If you have not yet checked out my review on the Glowgasm collection where I talk about both of the face palettes and a beauty light wand from the collection, make sure you check that video out. I will update you that I have since picked up the Peachgasm beauty light wand because I like the other one so much. I am wearing that right now. It is really, really gorgeous, but of course, very, very glowy. So I do have a zit, so it is quite emphasized, but it is so gorgeous. And then I also have the Lightgasm palette on my face right now and I love these products. They are beautiful. So I do love this collection. So that made me even more excited for this eyeshadow palette to release. Now I have to admit, when I first saw this online, I really wasn't that interested in it. I do not consider myself to be an expert on the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads. That is because I find the value of the eyeshadow palettes much better than these little guys. I just... The value's not here with this, but I'm going to go into the major facts about this palette. So it is a quad, of course. You get four little tiny eyeshadows. This retails for $53, and it is currently available on the Charlotte Tilbury website. As far as I know, this is limited edition, so if you want this palette and it's catching your eyes, I would recommend picking it up. Online, it is described as an eyeshadow palette quad featuring a champagne rose, rose gold, warm copper bronze, and rose gold sparkle to create a glowing halo effect on your eyes. It's an ethereal summer glow in the palette and I cannot agree with that description more. It described these colors to a T and it described the look I'm wearing to a T but I will get into that later. One thing I did find interesting on the website and this is a quote from Charlotte Tilbury herself. This eyeshadow palette has three of my most famous eyeshadow shades from your favorite Exaggerize, Pillow Talk, and Dolce Vita luxury palettes. Get ready to fall in love. So what I assumed from that is that this featured three shades that already existed from her eyeshadow quads. Now like I said I don't own all of her eyeshadow quads. I only own three now, so I really wouldn't look to me for these comparisons, but later on in the video, I will do some comparisons. But anyways, before I get into that, I do want to talk about the eyeshadow quad itself. So this, like I said, it didn't scream out to me. I thought the colors were quite dupable, and it looked like something that I already owned from Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, as you can see, they aren't anything special when you look at them in the pan. And to be honest, I was quite underwhelmed, but I do know that I do have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury fans out there so I did want to review this for you guys and I mean the shades in here are pretty there are no matte shades you get three very satiny shades and then you get a gorgeous kind of shiny glittery formula now what is very unique about the satin formula from Charlotte Tilbury is that I feel like you can really use them all over your crease and your eye won't be too overly shimmery this is a shimmery palette over my eyes I mean it is full shimmer but it works it doesn't look crazy these are that same buttery smooth silky satin formula formula from Charlotte. This golden shade right here and this light shade, they are a little bit more shiny than the definer shade down here. These are in line with the regular Charlotte Tilbury formula. They blend like a dream. They aren't overly pigmented, which is nice. I will say uh, for light to medium skin tones, this will work well for you. As you get more into the deeper range, I don't think this is going to be quite as flattering on your eye. Of her quads, I will say this one probably is one of the more inclusive palettes, which is kind of sad to say because it's really not but it is a little bit more dark than her regular palettes if you ask me one thing i do want to talk about is this shade right here the glittery shade i do find that this formula of hers tends to get a hard pan on top the eyeshadows still do work after they do get a hard pan but for me it kind of bothers me when they get hard pan and i can already see this is starting to get that hard pan so if you do not like that formula you will not like that but i mean it did add a really pretty glowy look all over my lid so it is a gorgeous shadow so really quick I am going to get into how I got this look. So I started off with a big fluffy brush and I used the smoke shade all over my crease. Like I said, this is a great unique formula in that you can really use these all over your crease and it looks okay. It blended like a dream. It is buildable if you do want something a little bit more deep, but I really love how that blended all over my crease. I then went in with the gold shade right here and I actually applied that to the inner half of my crease to really add a golden ethereal look to my eyelid. I'm not one who's scared to put shimmer all over my eye, so I put that in the inner half and honestly, I love it there. I think it 
complements the outer shade very well and oof, it's just pretty it creates that all over ethereal glow and then went in with the prime shade right here and i use that in my inner corner and my brow bone to kind of highlight and this color is so special to me because it just it blends in so seamlessly to the skin it looks like it's part of your skin when you put it on your eye it's just so buttery smooth i truly do love this color i mean it's not the most unique shade in the world but it is so pretty and then of course i use my finger to apply the glittery enhanced shade all over my eyelid it is so pretty i do think it definitely swatched more pigmented than it applied to my eyelid but it is a soft effect charlotte tilbury is not known for a super pigmented formula and that's the great thing about it it's just about the overall effect it gives on your eye i'm not going to knock that because it is really really gorgeous this palette does run a little bit more warm so it does give that kind of warm summery vibes the quality of this as i was using it was really awesome i created a very ethereal shiny glow on my eyelids that is a very unique formula that you cannot get with a lot of formulas out there on the market one thing i do want to talk about is i feel like this color scheme may be a bit ill-fitting in the collection I just feel like she could have gone with more brighter glowy shades than this but that's just my own personal opinion I guess this kind of goes with the darker face palette and this goes with the lightgasm face palette given the shades of the packaging here she really could have done something so pretty and so springy one point that I do kind of want to go back on is online when I read that Charlotte Tilbury said this eyeshadow palette has three of my most famous eyeshadow shades from your favorite exaggerized pillow talk and Dolce Vita palette now the only palette that I do have that she just mentioned is the pillow talk palette so I did swatch them side by side and I do have to say only two of the shades are similar but they aren't exactly the same the undertones in them run a little different so the first two in both of the quads are the ones that are similar and like I said the undertones are very different so it does look quite different on the eyes and then of course the last two are different so I didn't notice any dupes from this to this, so I'm wondering if there are dupes from the other palettes that she mentioned, but from what I can tell, it doesn't seem to be that way, which I think is odd. If you know, please comment down below because that left me a little bit confused. So like I said, this palette did remind me of a lot of other things from Charlotte Tilbury, so I did want to kind of compare the few palettes that I do have. So I did compare some of the Pillow Talk shades, some of the Icon shades, and some of the Stars in Your Eyes palettes. So I'm going to take a quick break and show you a little bit of comparisons that I did. So here is the deepest shade in the Dreamgasm palette and here are all of the shades that I felt were similar. Like I said, the tone is very different. These first two are from the Stars in Your Eyes palette and then these last three are from the Icon palette. So the two most similar shades that I noticed are from the Icon palette. So here is the golden shade from the Dreamgasm palette and here are all of the shades that I thought we're in the same family. So these three are from the Icon palette and then these two right here are from the Stars in Your Eyes palette that I felt were similar. And to be quite honest, there really isn't a very similar shade to this. This one I feel like is a little bit more muted, but these are all kind of in the same family and I wanted to show you. So this first color is the lightest shade from the Dreamgasm palette. These two shades right here are from the Icon palette. These two shades are from the Stars in Your Eyes, and this one is the most similar. This is actually from the Pillow Talk eyeshadow, so these are a little bit slightly different undertones, but they are the most similar from what I could find. So here we have this gorgeous rose gold shade from the Dreamgasm palette. This is from the Pillow Talk palette. As you can see, they are very, very different. The Pillow Talk is much more sheer. This one is from the Icon palette, and this one is actually from the Stars in Your Eyes. And I think the one from the Stars in the Eyes is the most similar but they are quite different the dreamgasm has much more gold to it so the point that i wanted to get across from those swatches basically is that where this palette doesn't look unique and it looks like there's a billion and one dupes in her collection from what i could tell from what i do have is the undertones in these are different than what she has in her regular line so this does have a lot of similarities to her range so if you're one of those people who really are into dupes 
and best values, blah, 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 then you definitely don't need this. This is not a unique color scheme at all. But if you can appreciate the finer, luxurious experience in makeup and you just really love Charlotte Tilbury, from what I can tell, the undertones in this are different. I was getting frustrated because I did feel like there should have been more dupes and there really wasn't. So this eyeshadow palette is a little bit unique in my Charlotte Tilbury collection, which is hard to believe. So I do not regret purchasing this. However, I definitely could dupe these if I went searching in my collection. $53 is a lot for a little Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad. I'm not going to be the one to tell you that it's worth it because $53 is a lot, which is why I don't own a lot. But just speaking on the quality of the eyeshadow palette itself, this is a good quality eyeshadow palette. It is a very unique ethereal eyeshadow look that you don't get with a lot of formulas out there on the market. So you guys can make that choice. If you were to ask me, this isn't the most exciting thing from the collection at all. I am super in love with the Lightgasm palette and the Beauty Light wands that are for blush. I hope you guys found this review helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not subscribed to me already, maybe you should do so. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a great day.